Hi, this is your girl, Annette Fletcher, Ms. BBW Delaware 2016-2017, Miss Fashion Global 2020, and the pageant director for the Big Beautiful Women of Delaware. And I am here today with a phenomenal queen that I met via John Carr. Yes, the gentleman who was the first person to buy my ticket for my first uh, pageant for the Big Beautiful Women of Delaware um, pageant. If you don't know John Carr, the star from another galaxy, make sure you look him up. But we are here today with a fabulous queen. If you are not familiar with Thick Girls is Fly, you definitely want to stay tuned and meet this queen, Miss Mary Jackson. Hello, Miss Jackson. Hello, sis. How are you? I am well and excited. I have seen you doing your thing on every platform. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, so, of course, like you stated, you and I uh, was at an event together. I was um, I was a host, I was a guest for John Carr, and he introduced me to you. We figured that we should link properly. So, you are Miss Fashion Global 2020, and I, Miss Fashion Global 2021, since we've met. Um, things have been crazy. Um, you know, I've only been doing a model thing since 2018, the same year I turned 40. Now, this year, I am currently um, going up for Miss uh, for Curvaceous, for the cover girl for Curvaceous, um, which will be in August. And I am doing plus size curvy New York Fashion Week in September. That so, life awesome. after 40 is definitely for me. <laughs> that is awesome. I did see, I think, a flyer for your um, participation in the Miss curvaceous congratulations yeah. thank you thank you okay yeah, they thought i was crazy uh i'm sorry what did you say oh no go ahead they thought i was crazy we had to do a virtual uh a virtual tryout so that was my first one and because i'm in the townhouse um i had to do mine outside um it was cold and of course you know the standard is black tights and a tank top and they were like where are you at i'm not in nowhere they're like it's cold I'm like, yeah, okay, let's go. They're like, are you I'm like, yeah, like, either you want it or you don't. Like, I want it. So, here I am. This is what it takes. Uh, I need to walk. You got to need to have to walk. So, I'm out here. So, um, I think that kind of was like, yeah, she's determined to do what she has to do to get in this song. So, um, and then they did select them. So, on to the next. All right. Very nice. So, I told you guys earlier. Now, I messed up. I got Thick Girls is Fly water bottle, Thick Girls is Fly fanny pack, Thick Girls is Fly tank top, and the booty shorts, and I ain't got nothing on. You know I love you. I, I'm thinking about it now as I'm sitting here. I'm like, I'm supposed to be representing. I got the queen on today, and I didn't, I didn't put nothing. I, I could at least have my fan, fanny pack strapped across across my chest with my, with my tank top on. Or at least have I know a water bottle, though. like, sit here, I like, I think I even got a pen, right? That, yeah, that's what I was like, you don't even your pen's off. <laughs> that's all right. I know it's all love. But well, that's okay. Love. And we're going to have you share a little bit about Thick Girls is Fly. What is going on with Thick Girls is Fly? Yeah. I have seen you guys on every platform, and we're going to make sure that people find you on all of your platforms as you tell us a little bit about your brand. So Thick Girls is Fly um, is something that has been controversial since I started. So I started in 2016 and because it is in proper English, it got a little bad uh, kickback. Um, of course, everybody likes, oh, it should be R versus is, you know, Thick Girls R Fly, not is. And I'm like, if it was a dissertation or something of that nature, I would definitely understand, but this is a statement. So I'm like, yeah, Thick Girls is Fly, TGIF. I'm making it make sense, especially for my younger demographic. So Thick Girls is Fly is just that. Um, it's the confident builder. Um, say less, do more. You know what I'm saying? Like when you see me and you see me walk into a room, um, when you see graphic t-shirts and things of that nature, you don't have to say anything because it kind of speaks for itself. I want my younger generation especially to realize that um, you're good where you are. You don't have to let society make you feel like you have to be a size two or a size 10 in order to fit in. That you can be fly and 
everything you want to be right now that where you are. Unless you have to lose weight or you're totally dissatisfied with your weight. Other than that, be good where you are at this time. So I did, I think the first time I saw Thick Girls is Fly and I did make the change, but you only had one time to make that correction for me to understand. So for as many people who do not speak grammatically correct, like I, I hope y'all aren't the ones out here coming for Thick Girls is Fly because T.E.I. So all of that that in the bag of chips. <laughs> And, and I'm saying, and it's your brand, right? So if you yeah, like definitely. thick girls is 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 all of that and a bag of yes. chips, then that's what it's going to be. So I'm excited about thick well, girls. It's so fly. You're not like it's. I paid for it. I own it. I, um, my logo is the eye, so it wouldn't be T G I F directly. Um, you know, the eye is you. You can be the I in TGIF. Everybody can symbolize. That's why she doesn't have an actual face. She's more of a silhouette. Anybody can be that I. Sometimes we need more. Um, I don't know. We see so much on social media, of course. We see uh, everybody that's, you know, everything that's glorified because of their weight, because of how they look, um, because of the money that they have, things of that nature. And social media can be too damn. Um, the last thing you need is to get up every morning and look at yourself and just be like, I can never be this. I can never be that. TGIF is actually the opposite. Like, you can definitely be all of that because look at me. Yes, you, you, are, you are absolutely correct. And the Love in My Curves group is the same. They're saying, so recently yeah. I did a um, one of those games that they have on Facebook and the outcome said that I needed to lose weight. I'm like, you know, it's a game. And, you know, a lot of right. times they, they come off with some flip stuff. Sometimes they come off with some good stuff or some truthful stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I shared it anyway. And a lot of people or my friends was like, first of all, you ain't that. And you this and that. And this, be happy about your size. I am. It was a game. But I thank God that right. I have people in my circle. <laughs> yeah. But I thank God that I have people in my circle who check, who, who check me. Or who check, right. you know, these these games and these apps that will tell you right. that your shape is not okay or that your fat is not okay or that my roles are not okay. As long as I am Absolutely. okay with my roles, why are you worried about them? This is where, this is where I think my frustration lies the most. If what I do, okay, of course, now we're in the world where it's a big controversy of uh, the BBLs or all the light bulb or different things like that. So I find myself not really getting involved in it, more so just looking at the little shade like, oh, well, maybe you should instead of saying people shouldn't. My thing is to each his own. I'm not knocking it. I'm just like, ugh, like, to be honest, do you know what comes with carrying a big butt? I never had a problem with my derriere and honey. It's not something to say lightly. <laughs> Literally, like, once you're into that life, I don't know if it's different if it's not yours, but it takes, a, you know, your back pains come and different things of that nature. But um, with no pun intended, I've never been a person that didn't have, you know, hips or, you know, any of those things that I don't know how it feels not to. So maybe that emptiness for you is what you need. But even now, my stomach's not flat. Do I look at other people and think sometimes, like, man, I wish my stomach was flat. Yeah, just hit the gym up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do what I have to do to accomplish that. But I'm not... Again, don't get me wrong. I literally almost had gastric bypass twice in my life because I had to go through what I went through to get where I'm at. No, I didn't wake up and just like, I am super confident. I had to get there, but now that I am there, it's, you know, I don't want everybody to waste their time being where I was at a time in life. You could just know that you're good enough now where you are. Right. I agree. We were just talking about that on, um, I think, the Colored Cafe with Ron Christopher Osborne Williams and Tylon Washington, because one of them went to the airport in Miami and they mm -hmm. saw a number of women in robes and wheelchairs. Yes, and they posted oh. it, um, BBM. Oh. And I'm like, but some of those ladies aren't big. Like, so what? Like, I had to look up. 
BBM. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it's cheaper to go there, but the same thing. Like, if that's what you want to do, then you Absolutely. should be able to do that. But I also feel like counseling should come along with that. Absolutely. Like when you Absolutely. when you make those transitions, your engagement on how you not only perceive yourself, but interpret and perceive what others say and do is going to be different. I never Absolutely. thought I was small. But as I look through my pictures, I used to be small. Like I had a nice little 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 frame. <laughs> But I was always identified as big because of my hips and my thighs. Mm. So, you know, as I got older, well, like you said, it's work. That perception that you have about yourself, that mm -hmm. level of self-esteem that you get or that you build, most of the time is from people, people who were either building you, beating you down about your weight, your shape, mm -hmm. your complexion, your hair, the non-brands, because I'm not a brand person. I wear yeah, what's cute or what I'm comfortable That's in. It. Absolutely agree. Or what so, I can fit. <laughs> and, and what I can afford. <laughs> I can, there you I'm go. not going to be out here broke because I'm trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's what we're not going to do. Right. So how do we find Thick Girls is Fly and how do we continue to support you? <clears throat> so Thick Girls is Fly on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook is Thick Girls is Fly. We just launched a YouTube that is Thick Girls is Fly. Um, our TikTok is Thick Girls is Fly 2016, which, of course, is the year we were established. Um, for individuals still looking for merchandise, we have Thick Girls is Fly 2016.bigcartel.com. Um, we are going through a total revamp right now. So we do have some things available. They are definitely at discounted prices right now. But um, yeah, we're, we're still around. Like I said before, in 2016, when I started, I wasn't as confident. So I kind of lacked off and actually gave up. When I did my rebirth in 2019, and I actually LLC, um, I said my foot is on the gas and I'm not letting up. So with relaunching and rebirth, I never did a fashion show. I never actually launched it was just like promoting and like look my husband and the kids and our fans and everything like because we call our guys our fans they're fans of the girls they proudly wear a t-shirt so um we haven't had a chance to actually launch or actually do a fashion show so now that is, is the work now so hopefully prayerfully with covid and Hard materials and production and everything else that's been getting in the way lately when they're dealing with like overseas and China and things of that nature. Because we're not a t-shirt company. We don't sit here with a machine and do any of that ourselves. We either use the outsource um, um, company that was local for some t-shirts and then everything else we were using in Pakistan at the time and then that became way, way too crazy. So now we went to LA and did what we had to do. So we have a manufacturer. Um, from out LA that deals as well with China. So the Girls of Fly is looking to be one of those brands where we don't go out of style. Like Polo will always be in style. That's how the Girls of Fly want to be too. Like I see some people still have things from um, 2019 to now. And I'm like, hey, like that's an original like, or even from 2016 when I started, like it don't look bad or nothing. Like I want the quality to be right and everything like that. I'm not going to sell none of my customers nothing I wouldn't buy. So I want the best quality. I want, um, you know, I take all feedback, good or bad. And um, and that's how we've been staying afloat. Like I said, right now, we're just going through just trying to do better and better and better so we can give our customers what they want. They want pajamas. They want T-shirt dresses. They want uh, hoodie dresses. The demands that they want, I'm not even able to keep up with if I did make it myself. So we definitely have to do what we have to do to get this. And then I have to get a brick and mortar and then I have to you know so my vision for TGIF um is to have a home in Delaware um we are from Chester um but we have relocated to Delaware and we want our store in Delaware as well so we have a lot of things just bear with us and stay with us it's going to be worth it okay so you heard it here <laughs> thick girls is fly I think I did the opposite with the mute thing 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. No, I was uh, like, this is Mary Jackson. Please look up hashtag Thick Girls is Fly. She is, like she said, on every platform. And she's, thank God, easy to find. Hashtag mm -hmm. Thick Girls is Fly fly yes we said it correctly Absolutely. thick girl <laughs> is fly if you want to support you want to purchase she is revamping but she does have a website up thick girls is fly 2016 bigcartel.com she is also on facebook as mary jackson and thick girls is fly right okay that is correct she is also <laughs> on tiktok as thick girls is fly instagram as well Please make sure you check her out. She is international. So if you need <laughs> something in Namibia, South Africa, Japan, we got you. We shipping it. We shipping it. We shipping it. We so shipping it. We got our, yeah, we shipping it. And if someone wants to catch up or just support or or bless you with something, do you have a Cash App, a Venmo, or or anything? Yes. So, um. My Venmo is the girls is fly. I'm the unbossy boss. So it's T H E and then unbossy, which is of course made up since I make. Okay, your your oh. your um your thing was muted every other. Oh, every somebody's time. trying to um. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yes. I, I the I, first Venmo, Venmo is the girls is fly, but the second one that you mentioned, the bought the underscore boss something. Oh, I'm sorry. So my cash app is dollar sign the unbossy boss. Oh, dollar sign the unbossy boss. I love that you have easy hashtags. <laughs> like you can find her. Thick girls is fly. <laughs> Mary Jackson. And now don't look for pictures. I'm telling you because this queen is like Sinclair from Alias. No, I mean, Sydney from <laughs> Alias. You see her one minute, she got big hair. Next minute, she got short hair. Next minute, she ain't got no hair. And she always fly, which is why she got the name. The girls is fly. I'm telling you, you want to be oh, sure wow. to check out this queen. Mary, thank you so much for joining us today. I thank you. I appreciate it. Like always, it's always great when we get to connect. I love it so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is your girl, Lynette, signing off with Mary Jackson, the CEO of Thick Girls is Fly. Make sure you look at the information below, check out all of her platforms and support. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, good night.